all combinations is one of those uh, challenges that you look at and go, no way. I mean, of course it's possible because it's here, but it's like, no way can I do this. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, crazy. I'm not good enough at TypeScript to be able to accomplish this. It turns out the solution is pretty simple. If we walk through it step by step, it's not so intimidating. I think if you go slowly, so real slow, if you pass in an empty string, it returns an empty string. If you pass in one thing, it returns an empty string unioned with that one thing. If you pass in two characters, we get this. So we pass in A, B, so we have empty string. Great. We talked about that. A or B or A, B or B, A. Okay. That's a making me sweat a little, but I mean, like, let's keep going. And then we see here A, B, C. We have all of the very same things we had from the last one, except that we're adding A, C, B, C, C, A, and then A, B, C, A, C, A, whatever, all the, or A, C, B, all those other combinations. And then similarly, it just keeps going. If we add up the four letter ones, there are quite a few four letter combinations here. Ian. Where would you begin other than uh, crying in the corner? That's where I began. I was when just going to say, I would, I would begin by crying for sure. <laughs> uh, this, this feels a little bit similar to one that we did earlier, which was, uh, I think, string to union, mm -hmm. right? Where we, we sort of like yes. used... Uh, and and in fact, pulled an element off. In in my opinion, it is absolutely not cheating to use one that you, if you know that you need to use something you pulled in from a different challenge, you can you can do that. So there is string okay. to union, the solution that we had. All right, uh, that's about as far. As, like it feels kind of like that, but I I don't know how we're going to combine them in awesome. all the different I would, orders. I'm happy to I'm happy to walk you through it. So. Basically, what we're going to do, there's a few things you and I have talked about as we've been solving these that we're going to like combine. This this challenge is not that bad, but you have to combine a couple things. So the first thing is uh, we we want to use an accumulator, like just like broadly speaking, we have to we have to build up like we do have some state that we need to keep track of. So we're going to use an accumulator. Um, so the accumulator is going to be a string union. And so that's going to be that part extend string. And uh, we could even we could even start it off with a string to union s if we want. We can initialize it to that value. So that's where we're gonna we're gonna get something that looks like a union that has for like t talking about a five. We're gonna get a union that has. I mean, I can just show you. Um, type a five s t u string to union, um, and then let's pass in. Uh, this. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's a union with A, B, C, and D. So the four elements of the union. Okay, great. So we're starting off with that as the accumulator. And we're going to sort of build up from there. We're going to spider web out. Then jump. Okay, so Ian, I always tell people you, this is the first like really meat, meat on the bone ones we've hit. If you'd like to suffer through any of this, please tell me. Otherwise, I can kind of show uh, you. The only thing I can think of is I'm guessing we're going to have some kind of an extends and a ternary kind of thing. And mm -hmm. then it, like it's going to be an empty string at the end, maybe that's going to kind of get us our, our, our empty string. Yeah, right. Uh, let's, that, let's do that. that so the first one is uh, we're going to check whether the accumulator is never because that's what will happen if we pass in an empty string here. Okay. See? If we pass in an empty string, yeah. we get back never. So to do that, we need a previous challenge again. We just did is never. So, okay, we have is never. So simple enough is never accumulator um, extends true. So in the true case, just like you said, we're going to grab it. It's going to be here. In the true case, we return just an empty string. So that's fine. And otherwise, we build up our union. And of course, in the union, all of them include, I don't know why, this is like a quirk of the implementation that I don't understand because I I disagree that empty string is a subset of A, B, C, D. But for whatever reason, it's there. So we'll put it in just to make somebody happy, whoever made this. And then from there, we can do the thing I was telling you about one of the previous challenges. We're going to abuse a an object type that we immediately access and we're accessing it with the accumulator itself it's a bit of a big brain moment but are you with me so far we're 
accessing it with the accumulator, which is going to be we're, we're gonna make we're gonna like make a value. Union. Okay, okay. So let's. <laughs> so we have like our combo or something, right? Um, mm -hmm. So we have we have those things that we're mapping through, and we're going to map that actual element, and then in mm -hmm. here we need to create some. Uh, like we need to create the combinatorial uh, kind of matrix of all of those things in in the accumulator. So right. we already handled the 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 empty string. And now at this point, like the very first time through, we haven't recursed yet. If we have a, B, C, D, um, a, B, C, D, if we have a, B, C, D passed in, the value of the accumulator is that union. So if we say combo in accumulator, we're going to get an object with four entries. Right. You know, and each of those entries is just one of the things of the accumulator. Well, right. uh, what do we what do we put here in the value? So we know those entries. And again, we're kind of like turning them back into values to grab them out by mm -hmm. immediately indexing with the accumulator. So then we, we know that combo is like the first thing that goes there because all of them have the thing that they start with, right? All, like all of the A ones have A. Uh, see, we have mm -hmm. A. These, this row, it's like we're starting at the kind of A, all the ones that start with A level. And that's why I organized the group here so we can talk about it in those terms. So we have like the A's mm -hmm. and then we have the B's and they go through at different levels of complexity. So what we know is that there's going to be, oops, there's going to be recursion happening somewhere and where it's going to be happening is right here in this second segment of the string. And so, okay, uh, recursion, all combinations... Uh, and again, we know there's recursion because there's an unspecified number of iterations. Right. That's recursion. Uh, we don't know how many layers deep we're supposed to travel. We just need to take any arbitrary input and pass out any arbitrary output of those combinations. So then it raises the question of what do we pass in for the first thing of all combinations at this point? Any, any thoughts right, on that? Well, we want everything that's in the accumulator except for combo, right? We want like everything, all of the other uh, other elements in the union. Right. Yes. So, okay, you're talking about the second uh, the second thing. Um, let's come thing? back okay. to it. So, yeah, we want to like exclude uh, ACC from from combo. That, that right. that's just what you said, right? We're gonna take the yeah. accumulator and then take out anything that's that's uh, a part of that is that is combo. Uh, and and uh, uh, sorry, is... I should say, in order to do that, we need another helper. We need exclude. And again, exclude is never in string to union are all things that Ian and I have just solved together. If you'd like to see those videos that came before this one, you could just go take a look at those um, to see how like what the solution for exclude is and why it works that way. OK, so we have exclude. What do we put here in this position? That's going to be... Not the union, but the actual. It's a string. trick. I, I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> we put never. <laughs> never. And the reason is, okay. is that we already ORed together. And maybe this is the answer to my question about why it has this solution is because it's kind of tricky to implement. Otherwise, we put in never, which gets us out an empty string. Like, look, if we pass in this first iteration, we're going to pass in here and we grab uh, S is never. So. We're never gonna, um, you, you know, s. Uh, we're we're passing in an accumulator directly, so we're kind of bypassing the the s. Like, notice that s doesn't ever get mm. used in here. So yeah, we don't really we don't really care about that part anymore. We just care about would, um, this second parameter that we've built up. So so it was just used to create the initial union. Right. So like we could have. Like, I mean, like a simpler version of this would be all combinations that takes a union and then just combines all the unions. Right, right. You know, so like together, at right? the very first iteration, it's like we have these first values, empty string A, B, C, and D. And then right. what we pass in is A, B, C, and D four different times. And it does four different iterations. And then those iterations pass in more things. And it keeps globbing, it keeps grabbing more and more away from right. the uh, from from the accumulator like that. But but anyway, okay. we're we're here talking. We solved it. I mean, this is the solution, yeah. or at least one solution. I'm going to show you another one in a second, and they get pretty wild, like A B C D E F G. Let's let's check this out. So you see here, uh, thirteen thousand six hundred and seventy-four more 
are in here. So, I mean, that's roughly, the last one is G-F-E-D-C-B-A, uh, just the same input backwards. So, it works. I mean, it does, it does work up to a fairly high number. I don't know if it, I mean, I don't know how far it'll go. Eventually, TypeScript, <laughs> uh, 109,000 combinations. Okay. Eventually, it will tell us, uh, I'm all out of steam. Please stop doing this to me. Uh, but uh, that's one. Okay, so that's one solution. I want to show you a whole other solution that I found. Um, let's grab it. Okay. So string to union. Oh, and let's let's uh, let's kind of disable any of these things that are not being used. Okay, string to union, um, all combinations. Okay, it works. So let's let's walk through really quick. This one does something that I love. We were talking in a previous challenge, Ian and I, about not using those accumulator parameters in such a way that it's exposed to your end user. This one accomplishes that. It does it by using a helper function and then like in the helper function, the work is done. So it's very similar. I mean, if you look at this structurally, it's very similar to the solution that we have. But the key part is, is the thing you export, which is all combinations, does not have uh, the accumulator argument exposed. It's hidden. So that's cool. I like that. It also does extend string, which we didn't bother doing. I probably should do. Okay. Then inside there, uh, A extends B. So it's checking to see if uh, if A is a subset of, or is assignable to B, rather. Otherwise, then we return never. But if, uh, if it isn't, but if it is, then we do this combination one thing, union combination. So this is fairly similar to what was inside our, our other thing, but here's where it starts to get different. So... The combination, what this basically does is create, like, I think it creates excessive combinations, but if you, or, like, if I say in TypeScript type x equals a or a, what are we going to get out? We're going to get just a. So TypeScript right. will kind of deduplicate anything that you have in a union because TypeScript is a structural type system. Um, it's not going to care about aliases for the same thing. As far as it's concerned, the type for x is only a, right? So same here, we are not in fear of kind of duplicating anything. So we pass in A or B or A, B or B, A, right? Mm -hmm. Then there's the string to union part. Um, so basically the way this works, let's look where it's used, uh, string to union. This is the thing that's used in the very beginning. And this is very similar to what we had. I think it might, might even be a, yeah, it's identical to what we have. Yeah, it's uh, the same, yeah. To our string to union implementation. Oh, and I said this variant doesn't return never. Right, right. Okay, that's the way in which it's not the same. Ours that we had up here returns never. The never case is handled uh, higher up in this implementation. So I don't want to go too super deep on it, um, but just take a pause the screen and take a look at this, and it should kind of a little bit sink in over time what it's doing. Uh, it's a pretty spicy one. And then there's one more little. Uh, one more little uh, explanation that I want to show. Oops, uh, I don't want this. There we go. So let's just get this off the screen so we can focus on it. So here we are, all combinations, very similar. It's starting with an accumulator, but this time the accumulator is a string. It's not uh, an array or, I'm sorry, or a tuple like we were using. And it's using this string interpolation thing to say this does uh, to grab characters. So head is going to be the first character and tail will be all others. And then from there, we're going to be looking through uh, kind of passing the combinations of the accumulator with that tail uh, as a union with the same basic thing, except instead of head being in the beginning, we're, pa we're passing it kind of like concatenating it in with the accumulator. And of course, we also have to have the empty string case because I don't know, because it's there. So very fast, a lot to get through. <laughs> Ian, <laughs> are you still crying? Uh, a little bit less. It, it makes a little bit more sense. I think I'd still probably need to spend a few more minutes playing around and like thinking about it hard to to for it to really click. Yeah, um, I hear. But it. I I don't you know I I don't write a ton of TypeScript uh, you know helper functions this way. I usually I use TypeScript, but but this has been pretty eye opening to uh, to see how things can work sort of under the hood. It's uh it's pretty amazing what you can do with it. Yeah, totally. All right, well. All combinations. See, it's not, well, I guess it is pretty bad. I was going to say it's not so bad, but it's pretty bad. Um, all right. Onwards. <laughs>